This linguine with shrimp and a fresh tomato sauce features ripe beefsteak tomatoes and it proves that minimal preparation with perfect seasoning allows seasonal ingredients to shine. It all starts with the sauce, and for it, we need one pound of beefsteak tomatoes. And as you cut your tomatoes, um, you're gonna transfer them to a large heat-proof bowl. And the reason we're using a heat-proof bowl is because, like I said, we're gonna be tossing the sauce with hot pasta and hot shrimp. All right, next up is one shallot. We're gonna go ahead and mince it. We also need two garlic cloves that we're gonna mince. You can also use a garlic press for your garlic. Let's add that right into the bowl. And next up, we've got about two teaspoons of whole coriander seeds. We are going to finely crush these in a mortar and pestle. Uh, you could also do this in a kitchen towel with a mallet or rolling pin. You can see that it's finely crushed, but it's not a powder like it would look if you bought ground coriander. So this is what we're gonna add to our sauce. We also need a little acid, and we're doing that with both lemon zest and lemon juice. We're getting some nice briny action with some drained capers. I'm gonna go in with a little heat, and with that is gonna be about a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. One of the things about sauce vierge is you want to emulsify the fat, and in this case we're obviously using olive oil, um, into the mixture. So we're gonna go in with a half a cup. I'm gonna start with a quarter cup, and I know Half a cup of olive oil seems like a lot, but this is gonna serve the whole family. So just think of it like each person's just getting like, you know, a couple tablespoons of olive oil. So last but certainly not least, we need to season it with some salt and pepper. We're gonna go in with about a teaspoon of kosher salt and some freshly ground black pepper. Give it a little shake. We are gonna let this virgin sauce hang out at room temperature for one hour, and in that time, all of those flavors are gonna meld really, really well. Plus, those tomatoes will leach some of their liquid, and that's what's creating our sauce. So I will see you back here then. Our sauce vierge has been sitting for an hour, and take a look at the color of it. It's gotten like much deeper in color. One thing that I'm getting that you're maybe not getting just yet is that it smells so good. I can smell the tomato, I can smell the garlic, and I cannot wait to toss this with our pasta and our shrimp. Speaking of pasta, we need to get it boiling. So I've got a large pot, boiling water, and to that we're gonna add a small handful of salt. Ooh, bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. We're gonna add 12 ounces of linguine. Grab some tongs, boop. Give it a little twirl. Just make sure all of that pasta is submerged in that salty water. We're gonna let this cook for about eight minutes. We don't want to fully cook it until it's al dente because we're gonna cook the shrimp in the same pot. In the meantime, we are gonna prep some herbs. So we are gonna be adding some fresh basil and chives to our finished dish. Uh, let's start with the chives. And we're just gonna snip them into little pieces. One of the things about chives is while you're cutting them, they could easily fling like all over the place. So I tend to go slow when I'm prepping them. All right, let's put these back onto our plate here. It's gonna make it a little bit easier just to add that to our pasta after. We want some fresh, very summery, very fragrant basil. So let's go ahead and pick some of leaves off. What I would say is if you don't have a really sharp knife, definitely tear the basil. If you are going to use a knife, it's better to sort of let your knife slide through it and slice it as opposed to chomping down on it. Just a rough chop. All right, let's get this onto our plate here. Okay, that's eight minutes. Let's add our shrimp directly into the pot with the pasta. Shrimp is in the pot. We're gonna return this to a boil and we're gonna cook it just a few more minutes. We want the shrimp to be just firm, just cooked through, and we want that linguine to be al dente. All right, let's try it. Perfect. Let's give it a drain. All right, hot shrimp, hot linguine. We are adding it directly into our sauce vierge. And right away, you want to start tossing it all together so that that hot pasta can start to absorb that fresh tomato sauce. The aroma alone 
is making my mouth water. All right, we wanna get all these herbs right into our pasta. Here we go! All right, to finish this off, we are gonna to top it with some freshly grated Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. It's so good. And that cheese, once you mix it in, is actually gonna help emulsify it a little bit more. Let's give it a try. Pasta! This is screaming summer. The fresh tomato flavor is just irresistible. And it's got so much kick because of all that crushed red pepper we put in. The garlic, the shallots, all just flavored the pasta and the shrimp so perfectly. And of course, the chives and the basil are not too shabby themselves. If there's anything else I wanna say about this incredible recipe, low lift, big reward, it is divine.